Howdy everyone, hello, welcome back to more Let's Play Ground Total 4, I am the Black Shadow. Apologies for a little bit of post-commentary in the last video. Um, the mic track that I was just recording just kind of corrupted itself um, about halfway through. Well, not even halfway through, so um, yeah, that was kind of regretful. And while I was indeed tempted to redo the video, I'll be honest, I've already had to redo one. The one previous was not my first time doing that video either, so I kind of... You know, I've already lost a lot of time today, and I didn't want to lose any more. So I'll just do some post-commentary. It should be fine. You know, a bit of post-commentary. It always works. Anyways, I just made our way back here to the safe house after doing the bits and pieces of missions. Um, we've got ourselves a call here from Dwayne. We finally got Dwayne onto our friends list, and he wants to go bowling. He's not our cousin, but uh, sure, you know. What the hell, right? I ain't done bowling this game for ages. I might even show it off if it's interesting. We shall see. Right. My car... Hmm. Alright, so Dwayne is uh, down here on the corner. Let's go pick him up and uh, see how he is doing. I was about to get called by someone. They can wait. Hey, Nico. Let's go. How you doing, man? Oh, we got a second bowling joint? Oh, we do! Oh, nice. What pay is the other one? What the hell? You ever spend time inside? Prison? Sure, but they never did the long stretch. It's strange, man. Start off worrying about all the usual shit. About some maniac trying to fuck you up the ass. About some other maniac who wants to slash your throat. About the awful food. Then that shit ceases to matter. Yeah? Yeah. You learn to cope with the environment. Make the best of it. Learn to scare people away from you. Get food smuggled in, you know. Sure. And after a while, you stop hurting. And that ain't the problem at all. No? Nah. The problem is, you realize it's all the same shit. In prison, outside, with the woman, on your own, with money, broke, happy, unhappy. Don't mean shit. Realize life don't mean shit, man. Teach yourself to stop caring. I know about that. But it's hard, man. I don't know how to fix that shit. I don't know how to care no more. Damn, listen to me. I'm pathetic. Dwayne has definitely struggled in his time since being out of the joint. He is struggling to uh, adapt to the world around him. It is a regretful situation. Right, so here is Golden Pier. This is uh, where we're heading off to. Just going to, um, out the way, sir. Thank you. There you go. It wasn't too difficult. Okay, fool. Let's bowl. Let's see how well they taught you how to bowl back in, uh, in prison, eh? Memory lane. Well, shit. I thought I was doing right with a spare. All right, Dwayne. Looks like we got ourselves a game on, boy. Yeah, that's what I thought. You sit the fuck back down. <laughs> I have a real issue. <laughs> I think Dwayne's about to kill me. Oh dear. I need to hit a strike here. Or at least get a spare. There we go. This is good stuff. Oh, he's going wide. He's going very wide. Ah, too wide. <laughs> oh, it's all very entertaining here in the uh, here in the comment. Mmm, 
can get the spare. Okay. Chance to, uh, chance to even get myself a spare here. We're about level. Points wise, it looks like he's Mars in front. That's because I'm still got outstanding scores because of the strikes. So, need a, need a load of pins here. Big ball. Oh! I'll take it. It's still not bad. All right, so five and a half down here, folks. Here's the score as it stands. We've got a bit of a lead here. The difference basically being the couple of spares uh, has made the difference so far. Dwayne needs, uh, needs a big hit. Gets it! Makes the strike. That's a, that's a good hit. We're about level. Um, about level. I think I've got like a marginal, probably about like a five, ten point-ish lead here. Roughly. This is a tight little game. Get it in. Oh, what? 6-10. Wow. That's a brutal, brutal ball. Wow. Just can't take this guy down. Let's take out the one to the right. There we go. It's best I can do. Rough times. You can definitely skip the opponent's shots. Uh, they do tend to score worse when you do that. But I do find it interesting just playing these out. Yeah, I was actually not that bad at this. What well, you got, Dwayne? Yeah, he's got seven. That's not too bad. Needs the spare here. Needs the spare. Very important. Otherwise, he's in, he's in trouble. He should get it. Yeah. Okay. Three rounds left. Let's try this way. A little bit right. Oh, man. Damn split. What you're meant to try and do is try and go. I need to go wider and curve it in more, but it's really dangerous to do that. That's why I'm getting some, I'm getting quite a few splits here. That's the problem. Also, got a cool note. If you look at the pins, they've actually got the Rockstar logo on them. It's quite cute. All right, folks, here we go. Two rounds left. Here's the scores. 120 plays 116. Very, very close, this. Not much in this at all. So, um, need some good throws here. I've been having a cut of, uh, had splits in the last couple of throws, which has been very, very brutal. So, uh, very unfortunate. But I've not had a split. I have got the spare. Right, we're going to try and come in a bit wider, and we're going to try and swing this in more. Oh, I still get the split. Christ. That's very frustrating. Dwayne is a strike here. I'm in all sorts of trouble. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Right, Dwayne. You get a spare, you get a strike, you're in the lead. Well, spare's probably about even-ish. Smokes him. Absolutely smokes him. Right, we're behind. So, I need spare minimum here. To get the third throw. Big throw. Damn, damn. Oh, look how awkward this is position as well. Ugh. Okay, we got it. Right, so it's the final round, so I do get a third, a, a one extra throw. Right. I need to smoke this. I need to absolutely smoke this. Ah, I get eight. Okay, then 147. It's not a bad score. Dwayne needs to make 30 points, but he's off the back of a strike here. If he if he makes a spare, I think he's won this. In fact, I'm sure he's won this. If he gets a spare or better. Oh, he can't! He's got a split! He's got a split! I don't think he can win! He needed a spare! Oh, unlucky Dwayne. 
That's the one thing you didn't want was a split. He can take the free. Oh, the fluky bastard. Are you fucking kidding me? How has he hit that last pin? Unbelievable. That's one in the game. It's absolutely one in the game. God damn. Wow. Fair play. Fair play. I, I I had it early. I was I was in front early, and then yeah, game six to nine, that wasn't good enough. Let him come back in with a couple of strikes. Yeah, what a lucky bastard that hit that pin on the left side at the end. I told you, man. I can bowl well. Can you give me a ride home, man? We will do this again, Dwayne, and I will have my revenge. So help me God. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Hit me up again soon, homie. That was fun. Ignore the police, by the way, folks. They... It was a misunderstanding. See? I told you. Misunderstanding. Everything's fine, folks. Everything's fine. There you go. So, yeah. Nice to, uh, nice to have Dwayne as an ally. Now, Dwayne is not an easy um, person to get a uh, high enough level um, with the statistics to get him to give you your um, uh, special skills. It's not like Jacob, where you can do missions for him. Packy, eventually able to do stuff as well. Um, but yeah, Dwayne, Dwayne starts off fairly high, doing that we have done good stuff for him anyways previously. Um, but yeah, outside of like just doing something, there's no, you can't like do any missions for him. <laughs> To get stuff up that way, so we'll have to, um, you know, just do activities of him from time to time, which I do intend to do. Oh, hi, Baggy. So there's a little tree story about us, and then tries the fish market. Oh, God. What the... What the hell did you see, sir? I think we need to, might need to go and check this out. Alright, let's have a looky here. Oh dear. The bodies of several men have been found at the docks of Fish Market South. Uh, authorities believe they may have been members of a triad street gang smuggling contraband to Liberty City. Largest prosecution of several members of, doc of the Dock Union's Dock Workers Union led to allegations of widespread corruption amongst the Steve Doors. The the what? A spokesman of the National Office of Security Enforcement stated that the docks in the BC are the gateway for which a majority of drugs, sex, slaves, and counterfeit goods come into the United States. Not the whole US! Jeez. So a matter of time before a terrorist smuggles a nuclear weapon for our docks. The unions don't clean up their act and agree to serious salary cuts and concessions. This is a very real danger. Uh, City Councillor Doris Fung, long accused of having links with several Chinatown gangs, uh, made a statement to the press. The Jedi's in the docks were the victims of this crime, not the perpetrators. We shouldn't be asking who they were working for, why they had weapons, or why they were killed on the docks in the first place. We should be asking who killed these young men. Serial <clears throat> mm -hmm. killer leaves note, but no clues. But he's not baffled as the killer of out of nickname strikes again. Another body has been found this time with a handwritten note. The city is in panic, but still the police have no clue to these. The coolies beheading joggers or walking and uh, walkers are leaving their bodies in bush. Oh yeah, we read about this at the start of the game. It was a young dance instructor from Broker who had his head removed. The police are struggling to see a pattern or to get any traction on the case. To be honest, it's down to underfunding. As the police forces are given better overtime and better pensions, there is no way this guy can be caught. Uh, I'll be writing a book about this case, and anyone trying to beat me to market will be sued if they mention my name. It's a tragedy. I asked about how he would respond to the ongoing naming crisis uh, that bedevils the case. He said, it's awful. These people have died in vain, and my marketing campaign is in tatters. Jeez. So we've got some mail. We've got Mr. Fackler. Uh, 
Uh, for Law Chick and Sobo Ho. Yeah, so this is referring to the yeah, there's this here. Morpy, you can attempt to sort of date in that. I ought to actually do some of this at some point. I will probably at some point uh, down the line, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. And we got Travis Young. The blessing of the Almighty God be with. Probably you might be wondering who it is writing this letter. There's a friend from www.pointclickshipabitch.com. What? Are you tired of the game? Oh, Lord. Is it so? Your one stop shop for mail order brides. Our database contains thousands of marriage minded girls, each many here of their own will. Many? Only some under the influence of drugs, all guaranteed to leave their families behind at a second notice to begin a new life of a total stranger. These, like, these websites are great. Uh, Handpicked from the villages of Eastern Europe, our uh, women pass through a rigorous selection orientation process at the hands and mouths of a team of special facilitators. Wow. Today's special offer is Olga, who is 18 and looking for love. Ever since she's first saw our first episode of Just the Five of Us, she has always dreamt of leaving her eight brothers and sisters behind to marry an American man. Olga describes a perfect man as middle-aged, portly, and introverted. Boldness is a plus. Likes mayonnaise, cigarettes, and 10-pin bowling. Hmm, Dwayne? <laughs> Due to a short absence from our overprotected local guardian, Olga is looking to move in the next two days. Please note that all our bride profiles are translated from source language into English. We reserve the right to employ artistic license. Unbelievable shipping. I have to look at this out. It's just, this is just unbelievable. Your bride will be spitting out polystyrene packing peanuts when she arrives. Uh, you might also be required to remove these from her other captives. Cavities. Some customers will find this to be sexy and part of the bonding process of their news rights. So you've got the Orient Express, which guarantees next day delivery to your door. Um, the Overnight Bride, from the US airport within 24 hours. Uh, three to five day economy air. My kitchen flight package for those on a tighter budget. Um, and a lot of love takes time. Imagine the romance of meeting a future wife off a container ship that's been at sea for three months. Please allow three months for delivery. Oh my god. Can't click on payment, unfortunately. Click on testimonials, though. I'm not going to read these in any particular detail. I think I'm just going to scroll through. I'm going to let you guys pause this. And I'm going to let you guys have a read for yourselves. I don't know if there's really much else I could add to this, everyone. Once you go Russian, there's no going back. I think Napoleon said that. Wow. Wow. This game, everyone. <laughs> this fucking game. You could say that, sir. You could say that. Alright. Bloody hell. People coming down here are right or not. Answer, eh? Nico, what's this I hear about you running with Patrick McQuarrie now these days? He's got work and he's a good guy. You're not planning on taking him down, are you? Play off him. For me. I'm not planning on taking him down. He's my damn brother, you idiot. Packy McCreary, Francis mm -hmm. McCreary. It's all starting to make sense. I knew Irish families were big, but I didn't expect to run into brothers in a place the size of living.
Liberty City. Yeah, just thank the Lord you ran into Packy and not my other brother. Packy's just a hood, but Gerald is into some serious shit. And Derek, he's the worst. If that asshole ever comes back from Ireland, I can't be held responsible for what I do. My brothers ain't no good, Nico. Trust me on that. You know what? Me and Packy get along. Maybe if doing what you do is good, then I want to be no good instead. I should meet the other McCreary's. Be careful what you wish for. Mm. I can't tell if that's a promise, or a threat, or maybe both. It could be both. The man... The man does have a point, though. Alright then, so... We're going to be paying our way back to a United Liberty paper here. Reckon. And seeing what more uh, legitimate business we can be getting ourselves involved in. Come in. Office 396. You're late. And please calm down out there. Excuse me? I didn't give you a free pass to act like an asshole. You're bringing a lot of heat. Hang out with bad people doing bad things, making idiot moves. I'm an idiot. I move. True. But the last thing I need is you getting caught. Why? Because I lead them to you in some plea bargain thing? To me? Who am I? There's a hundred guys in this building alone who fit my description. Middle-aged men, paunchy, glasses. You bring them here? What's this? Empty office? Leased to a man who died in the last days of Vietnam? Who? Call me up. Huh. My number never existed. No, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, I think you'll end up on a flight deck, but that's your business. Then what? Because you're good. Because I need you to keep being good. And you're getting distracted. Oh. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, good. I need someone neutralized. Guy is moving a lot of money for terrorists. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. The guy's got to go. But I need to know his movements first. How? Huh? I've got something that's going to help you. Head over to Albany Avenue and Lansing. Give me a call. Go. Can I get paid for this? Can I get a medal? Did you get a medal in your last war? What did you give Michelle? For me? Michelle? Karen? We gave her a life back. We didn't play too rough. We gave her some money. She still works for us. What about me? We'll discuss that later. You can may not like it, but well, he doesn't have to. Ignore the front of the car. I'm definitely having some. Um, it was reminded to me. I forget who it was that posted it um, in a comment in the previous episode, but definitely does bring back some memories of uh, San Andreas. I don't feel like I'm in the best vehicle for this, but oh well. Um, anyways, uh, but yeah, I'm having memories of like back in San Andreas, and there was the gov there was like a government -y sort of guy that you did missions for towards the back end of the game in the uh, in the desert. Uh, it was after you were in San Fierro and kind of all that business happened. I forget who it was. Apparently, the guy was voiced by James Woods, which I didn't think of at the time, but I think back to it, and actually, that makes all the sense in the world. Alright, anyways, so we're going to be going tracking a chopper from the ground, which is going to be tricky because we're not in the best car for this. So, it's going to be interesting. There it is. Oh, God, where's it going? Thankfully, not over the water, so we're not immediately dead. Get out of the way! So, we're going to have to try and follow it as best as we can. Hopefully... It's just going to be basically largely following the freeway here, which is good, which means I can just follow it fairly easily. But I suspect it's not going to be quite that simple. Make sure you don't go down the uh, the wrong road here, otherwise that's awkward. Right, he's heading towards into town, so we're going to need to make a right turn here very shortly. Shit. 
think there's a right turn for me anywhere soon. We'll make it work. Man, this chopper is trucking it. on it. Again, you can use... Oh, shit. You can indeed use the B button to help you kind of focus on it, but I think you're better off just keeping a rough eye. I believe also the helicopter does rubber band a bit as well, um, in that if you're nearer, it tends to go uh, faster than if you're further away. I could be wrong there, but it feels like there's some rubber banding going on. Yeah, this car is not a good turner, so hence why I'm a bit regretful I was r I'm running a freaking cavalcade here. Not really the vehicle for this, but it could be worse. He's going to worry about cars getting in the way. <laughs> right, let's take a left turn here. This is some freaking awkward uh, route you're taking here. Okay. Now where are you going? He's already gone round in like a circle across the city, so we trust this series going to go next. Looks like he's stopping. Ha. And nice and careful here. Let's see what the hell's going on over the far side. Yeah. Okay. Let's take the side route. Shit. Right, let's go. Before they try and get out of the chopper. Oh boy! Get in! Here goes nothing! Shit! Oh my god, he's got the freaking. Um. Well! This is awkward! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my lord. Thanks, Roman. Glad to know you, um... Oh, my God. Just roll my eyes. Right, well, let's get out of here, folks. Um... Yeah, that was... That was awkward. <laughs> I think I made the right call just getting the chopper and getting the hell out of there. I think that was the right decision there. Holy damn, that guy trying to get onto the, the chopper arm though, that was that was not a good idea. Take this yep, yeah, we're taking this to the damn airport. Holy damn. Now you gotta be careful normally about like flying here. If you start flying over the actual airstrip, uh, the police will get very angry at you very quickly. FIB indeed. The, the hell do they want with this chopper? <sighs> I 
Need to know basis, I guess, alright? Need to know basis. Well, they can have my chopper. I'll have their car. A fair trade. My men have the chopper. They're going to strip it down and put it back together. It should be ready for you when you need it. Why would I need it? What? The guy I told you about. The guy you need to eliminate. The only way you'll get to him is in the air. I'll call you when we have a window. Goodbye. Is he... Huh. Now, what remote business would this guy have? Thank you. Whoa! What remote business would this guy have, or interest, or anything have, in helping me. I guess maybe he views it as just um, one more evil crook off the streets. No. No, I don't. I don't think he strikes me as uh, being that pious. I think there's more up. There's more to it than that. Well, we shall wait for our callback then, folks. It will come. That, that I'm fairly sure of. Jeff? Hey, this is Jeff. Yeah, you remember that happy-go-lucky guy? The one you told about his two-faced cheating slut of a wife? I just took some photos, but yeah. How you doing now, anyway? You leave that bitch? You can say I uh, cut some ties. Oh, Meet God. me at the garage off Silicon Street at the northeast corner of Middle Park. I need your help. You're partying with some friends. What in the absolute hell has that man done? Well, here's the place. I'm kind of scared to know what's happened here. That's Jeff. Oh my god. What have you done? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. I got a bit of a problem. A bit of a big fucking problem. What's going on? <laughs> Jeff really did it this time. Jeff went too far. Jeff's been a bad boy. A really bad boy. What are you saying, lunatic? Remember my wife, Shirley? She had an accident in the kitchen. What kind of an accident? Well, the kind of accident where you stab yourself 50 fucking times with a kitchen knife. You fucking whore. Oh, my. Friend, will you? Huh? Well, who's laughing now, bitch? Huh? Not you. You fucking dead whore. Hey, buddy. Whoa, calm down. Hey, fuck you. Don't be an idiot. Now, what do you want me to do? Get rid of her and get rid of the car, hey? Okay, but it's going to cost you five grand. Sure, whatever. Give me the keys. Put the gun away. Uh, yeah, okay, thanks. Oh, Jeff really messed up this time, didn't he? Oh. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. That's... That is, um... That is bad times. That is very, very bad times. Now I know why Jeff's number uh, was kept on my phone. So we're going to, uh... Oh, boy. Unsurprising, the police are curious to what the fuck that is in the back of the car. I mean, I would be too. Why do you have to meet outside of a fucking police station? Idiot! Hang on, there's the police. Mm. 
least, at least, at least I'm running a blister here. Which is nice and nice and zippy, courtesy of being front wheel drive. Gotta be so careful with the police here. Right, I have an idea. I'm gonna go under here. Ah, cunning. Well, my dear, I don't know who you are necessarily, but you, um, yeah, much, much regret. Take care, my dear. I think we should make a a, a a deal to ourselves. We're never doing business with this man again. I got rid of that body for you. You should be clean. Now all you need to worry about is your conscience. The whore! She brought this on herself. Practically stabbed herself by letting him give it to her. Thanks. Strange missions, everyone. You know... Part of me kind of regrets not ever really delving into this when I first played through this game. But you know what? In a way, it makes this a much better experience now, you know? Although I must say, the water physics there were... Interesting. Go cry to your therapist. We'll call it that. Let's get out of here. Where you want to go, Hebe? I want to go to uh, Zeno Time Street. Nobody knows this city better than me. Don't fuck about. Let's go. This is gonna be fun. Let's get out of here, folks. So that is gonna be all for the video. So I thank you much for watching. As always, uh, it's probably also the end of this recording session as well, for that matter. Um. So what are we doing next time? I'm not too sure. So we're expecting a call from United Liberty at some point very soon. Uh, apparently, they're going to help me find who we're looking for uh, in regards to, um, was it Florian Darko or something like that? Or Darko, whatever it was. This is it, compadre. We're here. That's great. And secondly, I didn't Ta for that. Um, and then we obviously we're starting to do business as well with the McCreary's, um, both with Packy and the Irish Mob, and Francis and the... I don't know if I necessarily call it the LCPD. It's not exactly... Um, it's not quite official like that, you know? Hello there. Howdy. I'm sure we'll get a chance as well to do more stuff with, like, um, uh, whatever the hell, with, like, Dwayne and bits and pieces. We ought to go say hi to Bruce. We've not seen hi to Bruce for a little while. There's plenty of business for us to be getting along with across uh, Liberty City, folks. Uh, but I say that'll be it for now. So thank you much for watching. As always, take care of yourselves, and I will see you all for the next session. So take care of yourselves. I'll see you then.